Today on Toy Shiz, Spider-Man, the animated series returns. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, we are totally checking out the brand new Diamond Select Spider-Man, the animated series, Resin Bust. Now, I know a lot of you are probably saying, wait a minute, you don't usually collect statues. Well, no, I don't. But... I do like Spider-Man the Animated Series, so they kind of got me in that sense. Still collectible, not a toy. It has all the artwork from Spider-Man the Animated Series. Seeing this on Walmart store shelves put a smile on my face. This resin bust of Spider-Man is based on his appearance in Spider-Man the Animated Series and features detailed sculpting and cartoon accurate paint applications. It is limited to only 3,000 pieces and includes a numbered certificate of authenticity and it's designed by Barry Bradfield and sculpted by Paul Harding. Here's the barcode if you want to go ahead and grab it. Again, like I said, they are starting to hit Walmart stores now. This is part of Walmart's kind of Marvel May situation. They have a ton of different busts and Marvel collections and little things here and there for your shelves or your offices and whatnot. But this one in particular holds a special place in my heart. So I'm excited. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice, hot, radioactive cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Spider-Man, the animated series Resin Bust by Diamond Select. And when you open it up, you can see it's sandwiched between two pieces of styrofoam. You get that little authenticity certificates right there numbered out of 3000 and just kind of open it up slowly and bingo bango you got yourself a interesting spider-man the animated series bust and what's cool again about this is that how long has it been since we've had spider-man the animated series anything besides maybe a t-shirt or something to that degree but this thing is actually pretty cool I'll tell you what, all day. They nailed the look of Spider-Man, the animated series. He had a very distinct costume, very distinct red and blue, and I love the shading on him. So in that sense, they nailed it. I like the bust part of it. Again, it not really collecting a whole lot of uh, statues and whatnot. I know a lot of people will say, of course you got statues, you collect Spawn. <laughs> but yeah, I like just the colors on him. I like he's doing the web thwip. It's very cool. I love the spider sculpted right there on the chest. And it has some heft to it. You'll see on the bottom, it's numbered out of 3,000. One thing I'll tell you, Diamond Select, whoever did this, get a pen, get a better pen. What? Come on. You can barely read that. 1954, I guess. But the webbing is nice. This is one of those things where just be very careful because, yeah, if it falls over, it's off a shelf, knocks, it ain't going to live. But I love the shading on it, the little accents, the animated look. They got the hands right. If you look at Spider-Man, the animated series, he's drawn differently from season to season in many ways. Different lines, all that kind of stuff. But they captured the look. Nailed it. Even the little spider on his back. Again, love the shading. It's very cool to have this now the real magic is when you put him with let's say the old toy biz spider-man the animated series and yeah again i think they did a great job at capturing the look and the feel of the spider-man series with the retro marvel legends figure the blue is off on that retro marvel legends figure it's too dark the lighter blue is really the way to go sort of with the diamond select spider-man marvel select spider-man but in actuality i mean the bust is actually, I think, the closest to Spider-Man the Animated Series we've seen thus far. Put him with your Venoms, right? Thanks again to Rebob Lito for that head on that guy. That's very cool. Or good old Doc Ock. Like he's saying, here's web in your eyes. Heck, even the armored Spider-Man or Madam Web. I kind of just pulled out various Spider-Man the Animated Series figures just to show you scale. But have you seen this Spider-Man the Animated Series figure? Yeah, this guy's old school. He even talks. Spider-Man's going berserk. Out of web form. Here's your favorite ball crawler. Yikes. Spider-Man's going berserk. You already said that. And again, in the situation of display, if you have the old Daily Bugle playset, this is where this shines. I'm not the biggest fan of statues, but because of Spider-Man the Animated Series, this is very cool to me. And stay tuned, I will have some more videos focusing on Marvel May with more animated properties like X-Men. So we'll look at this Walmart exclusive Wolverine Unmasked Resin Bust and also this Magneto one as well. And both of these, along with the Spider-Man, are hitting Walmart store shelves 
now. So that's really gonna wrap it up for my look at the brand new Spider-Man the Animated Series Resin Bust. Not being a huge fan of statues, I can definitely tell you this, that if you're a fan of Spider-Man the Animated Series as much as I am, this is definitely for you. A couple things, when I did pull it out of the packaging, I was like, ah, that's smaller than I thought, right? It's not teeny tiny, but I had this idea in my head that it was going to be larger than it was. So that's more of a nitpick on me. I think they nailed the colors, they nailed the paint. It looks like Spider-Man the Animated Series with that cell shaded look. And I like the thwippingness of it. It's a great display for a Spider-Man the Animated Series collection. Price being at the size, I did look it up. You know, statues, they go for a higher price. So that's really in that realm. I know they got Doc Ock coming and I know they got Mysterio. So we'll see what happens with the new Spider-Man the Animated Series Resin Bust line. But I am curious to know what you guys think about this Spider-Man Resin Bust. Is it for you? Do you collect statues? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Spider-Man the Animated Series. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, have a fantastic weekend and make sure you blast some Joe Perry. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.